Y'all, this is bad. I would not want to put these on. So the NBA recently released their new City Edition jersey collection, and basically it's a mixed bag of awesome and not so awesome. But fear not, I am going to be breaking down a handful of them, giving my honest opinion on a scale of one to 10. But before we get into all that, make sure if you like this video to give us a like down below and make sure you are subscribed for more awesome content like this. Okay, let's dive in. All right. First up, we have Miami. So, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw these, uh, it gave me the middle school PowerPoint gradient background vibes. If you know, you know. But I, I honestly really like these. These, the more I look at them, the more I love them. And I think these are just, they stay true to Miami's culture and what, you know, just the vibrancy that comes from Miami. And I mean, at this point, Miami can kind of do whatever they want, right? Yeah, these are definitely one of my favorites. They're really clean, they're fun. As much as I love plain black jerseys, I dig these. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Okay, up next we have the San Antonio Spurs jerseys. I actually, I like these. They're very clean, they're very simple. I like the colors. They do give me like, 1990s to 2000s Taco Bell vibe. Tell me these jerseys don't remind you of the old Taco Bells with the the circles and the squares and the little pick art things and the... <laughs> these jerseys remind me of the old Taco Bells from the 90s, but I like them. They're very clean, very simple. Um, I would give these probably a, a 7.5 out of 10. All right, next up we have the Indiana Pacers. As a Hoosier, had to do this one, of course. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of pinstripes uh, when, when it's not baseball uniforms. However, I really like this. This gives me Reggie Miller vibes, the OG good Pacers. Um, I think it was kind of crazy when I first saw them that Victor Oladipo wasn't the face that they released these with. Um, it was, I think Malcolm Brogdon is who they had, which was kind of like, gave, took me down a rabbit hole of like, well, why is Victor Oladipo not the face? Hmm. But that's besides the point. I like these jerseys. I think they're very clean. They're very true to Indiana. I would honestly give these an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have OKC. I don't know how much loves gas got out of these jerseys for the promo or how much they put into these i these jerseys make me feel like we're either going to a nascar race or we're on the way to a nascar race and we pit stopped at a loves gas station and picked up a few shirts i don't know what this is um i think the loves i think it's just because the loves logo is too big it's just throwing the vibes off for me it's very race car-esque it's very gas station-esque <laughs> this is a no nah for me dog i'm doing the whole randy jackson it's a no for me dog um probably i would give them probably okay they're not bad i like the colors but like i would give this a 5.5 out of 10. All right, next up we have the Brooklyn Nets. I know they're trying to pay homage to <laughs> Jean Michelle <laughs> Basquiat, I believe is how you pronounce it. The artist from Brooklyn who his painting sold for like, you know, $110 million or whatever it was. I feel like someone drew this logo with crayons and then they pr screen printed it on the jersey. This is just very um, toddler-esque for me. Mm, four out of 10. The Wizards. DC, y'all, this is bad. I don't like the hand reaching for the ball. I don't like the gray. This is just not very good in my opinion. I would not want to put these on. This is definitely a four out of 10. This is bad. The only reason they got a four is because it's got Murica on the side, to be honest. All right, and finally we have the Phoenix 
Suns. These are awesome. I love these. I think it's so cool because Phoenix really, they were one of the teams that really marketed themselves around the city rather than the state. I love it, the valley. Um, I love the colors, the black. The, I love the side panels where it has the suns and then it's got the, the little gradient um, like sunset looking thing. I love it. It's, it's really clean. Fortunately, they got rid of Mr. Valley himself, Kelly Oubre, but I, I like these. The Suns did a great job with these. These are definitely one of my favorites too. I would give these a nine out of 10, nine out of 10. Hey sports fans, if you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.